River and Duck were right. I'm only a tiny little rail boat, and I'm scared! Then there was more trouble. finally finished for the night and was turning around to go back to Tidmouth. But he didn't know there was a fallen tree on the line ahead of him. And neither did Oliver, who was finally going home with Toad in the opposite direction. Oh, I can hardly see a thing with all this rain. I can't wait to finish work. Oh, the storm is getting worse, Mr. Oliver. Not long now, Toad. Nearly home! Keep going! Keep going! Oh, what a mess! Who's going to come and save me in this storm? Oh, no! That's Doc's whistle! And he'll be here any moment! He's going to hit that tree! Wait a minute! <gasps> He's going to hit me! <laughs> But Skiff's voice was carried away by the wind. Oh, no! He can't hear me! There's nothing I can do! Oh, my sail! If I can just free my sail, then maybe I can signal for help! But that wasn't Duck's whistle. It must have been Oliver! My sail came unfurled and my anchor rope snapped and I got blown all the way down here. Lucky for us, you did. Otherwise, we would have both crashed straight into that tree. Oh, I was so scared. I didn't know how to stop you because my sail was trapped under me. Oh, but then I managed to get it free. You saved us, Skiff. You're the bravest little railboat I've ever known. Me too. Thank you, Skiff. We'll never forget this. By the next morning, the storm had passed. The islanders worked to clear any damage the storm had left behind. <laughs> My word, Skiff! You all managed to stop a terrible accident from happening. Only because my rope snapped, sir. Oh, that doesn't change the fact that you're a hero. Duck, Oliver and Toad all think you should get an award. An award? Really? Oh, yes. Definitely. And I agree. You're the bravest little railboat who ever travelled by land or sea. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Three cheers for Skeff. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray!